Hey everyone, so I finally finished my project uh, as far as the electronics are concerned. Uh, so I just want to give you a quick update on what I did exactly. So if we look up here on the top of the house, we've got uh, some speakers that I installed. Got them nicely tucked away up there. And then um, back here to the little um, the little cupboard here, the outside cupboard here for, uh, I'm assuming it was for the milkman back, way back when. Um, still gotta sand and paint this. This is gonna be the next half of the project, but if we open up, you can see we have a Cisco IP phone and it works. So we can actually call Comedian Mail mailbox and um, so we could either dial out or we can dial into the PBX that I have uh, set up in the server room uh, also we have a tablet up here which has a lovely matrix Let's see if I can focus that there we go screensaver running um, and then we go in here and I'm gonna unlock this real quick there we go. So now we can actually go in here, go to YouTube. And you can hear. There we go. Sounds really nice. We'll let that run for a minute. But anyway, uh, so the neat thing about this is um, what I did, and, and actually it's not finished yet. I want to add one more thing. I want to add a um, an LED strip up here for, for nighttime use. I can see the screen on the tablet just fine, but I can't see the, uh, the keys or the, um, the screen of this. It's not a backlit uh, IP phone. So all in all, the project, uh, everything that I did was uh, I had to prize this this guy open. This thing was screwed shut, and uh, it was pretty much just left abandoned for uh, for who knows how many years. And uh, they drywalled over the the other side, so there was no no door or anything on the other side. It's just a wall. So what I ended up doing was I put a. Um, half inch it's either half inch or a little over half inch wood back plane so I can actually fasten the phone to without having the screws go through um, velcroed the tablet to this uh, to this back plane here and uh, behind that there's actually a little um, PoE to uh, 5 volt or actually it's a multi volt I think you could do 5 9 and 12 volts but I've got it set up to uh, 5 volts and that's what actually powers the tablet. I made a uh, an adapter that goes from the uh, the little uh, barrel connector, and then that goes in. Um, this tablet actually has been sitting on my workbench for quite some time uh, because it's USB um, jack failed. So what I ended up doing was just soldered in two leads, came out, and it goes right into that barrel connector uh, on this. And, uh, and nicely enough, the, uh, the uh, IP phone and the PoE splitter here in the back actually both are powered off of the same uh, Ethernet cable. And what I did is, uh, you can probably see down there, there's that little orange cable. That comes up, and then there, I put in a little uh, RJ45 jack. And then what I made is I made a um, special little Y cable that uh, sends data and power to uh, the IP phone. And then it goes and it also Ys out and it goes to the splitter. And you have to do it in a special way because the, uh, I think these are TP uh, link, TP something or not. I forget the exact brand of, of this splitter. I had it laying around from another project. And it doesn't use the same PoE um, pin standard. Uh, it, it still uses 48 volts, but it doesn't use the same pin arrangement. 
um, and I had to kind of fiddle around with it because if I use uh, the Cisco um, PoE, you sends power over the same pins as the data, I believe. Um, so yeah. Anyway, long story short, had a little bit of a problem figuring that one out. Just a lot of playing around with the with the meter, and uh, and the funny thing is, is that when you actually plug plug both of these in. The minute you plug in the splitter, it actually shorts everything out for a second, and then the switch turns everything off and then turns it back on again because it thinks that it's uh, it's an overload or something. So yeah, a lot of a lot of dicking around, but anyway, got it up and running, works great. Everything, as you can see, I've been this has been running overnight, no problems whatsoever. The switch is completely happy upstairs. It's a 24, I think it's a 24 port um, Cisco. Um, PoE switch but anyway so this all works everything fits in here wonderfully uh, and then the way that the speakers get their um, their amplification is not obviously not from the tablet it doesn't have enough power to drive, to drive that so what I've got is it's coming off of this headphone connector right here which is going uh, and it splices into this uh, gray wire down here that you see and I need to clean this this still needs to get vacuumed out but I just want to proof of concept get everything up and running uh, what this does is this actually goes upstairs to the server room where I've actually got an amplifier set up so we've got an amp upstairs we've got the PoE switch that's powering all this because I really didn't want to have to run high voltage over here. I mean, I've got the cable for it. I mean, I could have ran it, but I was like, no, I, I don't want to do high voltage. I, I really just want to do low voltage everything and see if I could do it off of just the one cable run. So I'm going to take you inside real quick so you can see how this comes in. So you can see right here it comes. I got a lot of cleaning to do. Um, it comes in with these two cables here. So this is this is the cat um, the cat six cable. Um, it's just what I had laying around. I could have used cat five. Doesn't really matter. And then here's the the other cable um, that's actually sending the audio to the amplifier upstairs. And then it goes down here, and then it sneaks its way upstairs uh, into the server room. So all in all, I think it was a really cool little project it turned out really nice and I love how it just hides you know we can just turn this up a little bit and close this up and it really doesn't even look like anything you know um, obviously I got to put a handle on here or a knob or something and paint this um, make it look nice but I just think it's just a really perfect little project because I'm always working out here on the cars or on whatever and I don't have a garage yet I really need to get <laughs> I need to start a GoFundMe page to, to get a garage because I, I need one I've been running like the past three years without a garage and it's, it's just killing me but um, it'll definitely be in the works but um, yeah so anyway if you guys like this project and thought that the video was interesting uh, give us some comments or some input or um just say hi uh really uh, look looking forward to uh doing some more projects and showing you guys uh some of some of my little little putzing around here but uh all right take care